introduce myself first. Jesse Reekin won. Jesse Reekin. <laughs> Jesse Reekin won on Twitter. Surf versus Hitman, the uh, yeah, they caught the kid with it. Thank God they caught him for possession. Like, like what he did with it. Surf has so many of those. The inmate press nine thing. Like these guys have quotables that have some substance and have some meaning. Like if you look at what he had in Summer Madness one, this was a, a repeat of something he'd been saying. Like it's almost a slogan. SBI, your, your moment. -T -T -E, your, yeah. your moment is. A slogan that the Pete, the crowd just happened to say with you your first time no, on the big Not a slogan. The all three rounds were pretty significant. He's if you were supposed to bet, if you lost the show, you were supposed to bet, give up for a year. What the fuck are you still but that doing? Was, that here? was only his first round, though. I, I mean, look, he, he beat him. The battle happened a while ago, so I don't remember. He, he but he, Miles he, started getting booed also, which I think was a first. <laughs> yeah. Um. Summer Madness, so Summer Madness was a first for a lot of things, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Summer Madness feet was invented Some... <laughs> because we was out there 14 hours listening. I remember that shit. Let me tell I you. got there at 3 o'clock. My boy you. got I there was... at 8. He was like, what do you mean the first battle didn't start yet? <laughs> he thought he was going to see the main event. I, I went to every single URL event between Summer Madness 1 and Summer Madness 2. Mm. Now... Summer Madness one, my first time being at a battle event. Period. I want to uh, say mine too. I think. I go. I think mine too. Because I'm thinking like URL is on like some corporate type shit. Like no. I'm thinking like you know they at Webster Hall now. Yeah. So, you know stuff is gonna be run professionally. So, I think they said the door is supposed to open like one or two. Me being a prompt person, I probably get there like. 11 or 12. <laughs> Doors didn't open till like 3 or 4. Later than that, I think. I think it was later. Because the later? first battle didn't start to 8. I remember that. Yeah, because the, what, what was the first battle? The DNA, DNA X Factor. Factor. And I, yeah, I think that might have started like 7 or 8. And um, Hitman and Hollow didn't happen until about 2, two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it was like 2 in the morning. Yeah. So... Imagine that. I'm leaving my house 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, and I'm not leaving until 2 yeah, in the morning. Like, I'm doing a double shift at work, damn it. I'm with you. And you're standing the whole time. Standing the whole time. Because there's nowhere to sit, really. There's no, way to, there's no um, real seating, unless you was in VIP and happened to get one of the uh, one of the chair joints. Oh, unless um, you're Poison Pen and he found a seat in the back on a speaker. <laughs> he did. I swear to God, I was next to him. I, was, I met I met Penn at that event. And wow. I, I was sitting next to him. And I guess, you know, Penn's going to find somewhere to sit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the thing. Us big guys, we're going to find somewhere to sit. <laughs> like, whatever. Like, like I would have went in the toilet. I would have went in the bathroom and sat on the sink if I had had to or something. Like, I, you feel me? But, um, yo, when I went home, I went to sleep. I woke up maybe like two hours later because my legs was burning. Yeah, me too. I ain't gonna lie, me too. My like, legs were killing me. I, I and and even me doing all the years I've been doing security work, like I never had nothing like that where I literally stood for six, 15, 16 hours straight. Oh, so you never worked for Metro PCS? No, I, you work I, for Metro I don't. PCS, I don't, you're standing for 15, 16 hours. I don't do retail security. That joint, that joint will have you. You know die. what? I've lucked up. To where every security job I've had, I've been able to sit except for one. But I worked at um, Hugo Boss in Soho, mm. and I had to stand. But um, we used to rotate positions too. That way, you know, we we get our legs get a yeah. little break. You know, one one person being the front. You know, in the front you got to stand, but yeah. in the back you can hide in the dressing room and yeah. sit down for a few minutes. So I used to do that. But um. When we, when they was doing a little smaller room events, remember the little um, joints they were doing in the, the other room in Webster Hall? Mm -hmm. Those were shorter events. So, you know, you go to those joints, when you come back out, it's still daytime, and, mm -hmm. you know, you ain't really standing that long. And I'm like, okay, 
if this is what battle rap is going to be, because like I said, I'm new to going to events. If this is what it's going to be, then I'm good. So I went to Summer Madness 1, had that bad feet experience. I'm going to all these other events. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay, by the time Summer Madness 2 come around, they're going to have the formula switched up. We're going to be good. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. Summer yeah. Madness 2 comes around. It's the same, same exact shit. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left during round three of Mook and Solomon. A lot of people did. Yeah, when, when, people. this is the thing. When I left, the building was emptying out. Yeah, a lot of people were leaving during that battle. I mean, Lux has sucked the energy out already. Yeah, yeah. Once once Lux went on, it was over. But those battles in between were taking too long, too. But I was... See, and the thing is... Too, and that's you, the thing. It was only go. six battles. How you take 14 hours to get six battles done, bro? But the thing is, other people couldn't go out. I had a media pass, so I was able to go in and out because I was doing Battle Rap Arena by that time already. And then Real Deal, he just said, I'm a battler. <laughs> and they, oh, so wow. me and him were going in and out. We were going out to buy drinks, drink them, come back in because, you know, the venue was charging like 14 bucks. Yo, for, for bottled water, they were charging $5. That's crazy. I'm like, yo, like, what the hell? Yeah, Webster Hall, downtown Manhattan. Man. So I was able to, I was able to go in and out, so I wasn't... I'm just like, yo, Psycho, call me when the next battle starts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just kept, we kept dipping, man. That, that, but a lot of people did leave during Mook Solomon. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, when, when I left, the building was pouring out, like, as if the event was over. But, but we were saying, what are the first they had? Okay, so Midwest Miles got booed. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, I, Rex versus Conceited was a dope battle. Yeah, preference battle. And... They both knew how to use the mic. Yeah. You know? Oh, the handheld mics. That, that was, the was handheld a, mics, Oh, yeah. my God. And then they didn't transfer over to video. Now, let me tell you, them handheld mics was the death of a lot of careers that night. Mm -hmm. Because, let me tell you, had they had good wireless clip-on mics or whatever, a lot of people would have got saved. Yeah. yeah. Midwest Miles would have got saved. Yeah. Math might have got saved. I, I don't I don't know. Cause it was, math it was Cal wasn't Calico's crazy. whole approach to him was because we thought Math was this big bad bully, and we, I'm in the same spot Dose was at. Yeah. You know, and Calico basically diffused all that. Like, like it, it was uh, it was dope. It was dope. I, I, the Math, I think Math died the worst that day. Math yeah, took yeah. two years off after that. Yeah, he 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 definitely was body of the night um that night. You know, it's good to see him bounce back, but that that was just. Bad, like especially to see that live in the building. I'm like, oh man. X Factor beat DNA too. There was a lot of upsets out there. And and this, nah, I didn't think X Factor beat them clear. I thought it was a classic battle, honestly. I thought it was fire on both sides. I didn't think it was a clear win for either one of them. I, I know, think they I'm both not, came. I'm not gonna it. say names, but I know some of DNA's people who were like, "Damn, yo, our boy lost today." Wow. Um, and you gotta understand, for me. And for this being my first URL event, you know, I'm coming off of watching all these guys' footage. Like, I'm I'm seeing Matt versus Aver, Matt versus Rex. So, that's the math I'm expecting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to show up against Calico. And it just didn't go like that. That whole, that whole, that whole battle, that whole battle didn't make sense. Because math was at this point at that time. Mm -hmm. Calico was up and coming. Calico wanted Goods. Goods said no to him. He wanted Cortez. Cortez had turned them down. Um, I don't know why Math took this battle. You know, it, he didn't. He didn't need to at that time. Yeah, but Math was also the type that he wasn't afraid to prove himself. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like he he just wanted the battle. You feel me? And it's like if if Mook Lux and all the other guys is not trying to battle him, then it's like okay, I might as well take these other guys. Yeah, you know um. Calico might have been on a come up, but you also got to remember he had a fire battle against K. Shine too. I like think Calico, he beat K. Shine. Cal yeah. yeah, Calico was on 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 a hot streak, really. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, it, uh, he bodied newborn. Oh my god, that oh. was bad. That was bad. <laughs> the, the newborn battle. I don't even want to think about that battle. Sir. Yo, this session, all right, this segment, I got is the nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we're talking about something mad as what. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even plan that shit. But, but it I just mean, came out. this is you no. Know, we this we, is what it is. Yeah, we, this we what two battle goes, rap. You know we I'm two saying? battle rap vets at this point. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like we didn't been in this long enough to have those those memories. Like yeah. these, these new niggas, they'll never get that. 
Yeah. You feel me? Like, just everything we done been through, like, as far as just, you know, standing at events for 14 hours. Y'all got it easy now. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all go to certain events and y'all only in there for, like, like, even, you could order the shit on pay-per-view. Yeah, like, you don't even got to go. Like, you could stay home with your family, you know. Yeah, that's true, yeah. man. I, yeah, I'm, that's, yeah, that's like, true. Like, I'm from back when... Smack was figuring it out. URL was first getting it together. Like... You couldn't even do like how everybody watch the pay per view and they do recaps and upload them in between battles, like back then. Yeah, you couldn't do that. First either. of all, you at the event. Phone batteries weren't crazy at this time, mm -hmm. so even if you was live tweeting during an event, your phone died at some point during the night. Yeah, because that happened to me a bunch of times. Like I'd be, yo, follow me on Twitter at No Mercy Harlem. I'm gonna be tweeting during the event. I get to like the third battle, my phone dead. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, I gotta wait till I get home, set up my camera, do my recap, you know, and then upload it. And now everything is pretty much, you know, more easier because you know how technology advanced and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So.